this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a card using the beautiful new John Nextdoor wreath twig frame um, which has been done as an exclusive in the Create and Craft Club magazine. You get all these different dies in the set and the idea is that you can build a little twig wreath using this die here. It's always difficult to pick up. You've got a little centre panel in there. You've got circles. You've got a frame. You've got lots of different pieces. So you can go from something like this, where we've got just the simple frame floating in acetate, to something with a centre, or you can just use the twig wreath. There's lots of different ways, but we're going to be using this now to make a project. So I'll move that out of the way, and I've got the pieces here ready to sort of start cutting. So I've already got some of the foliage cut. We'll move that to one side. And I'm going to start with a piece of apple green card from the Crafts 2 Essential range. So this is Craft Artist Essential card in apple green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, I'm going to use the frame and I'm going to use the largest circle in the set. So what we need to do is we're going to put those two together. So using a piece of low tack tape, we're going to pick up the inside circle, float over, pick up the die, giving us an even border all the way around. We will pop that onto a piece of the apple green that's been cut to five and a half by five and a half inches. And we'll run that through our die cutting machine to cut it. And once we've done that, we will get this beautiful frame where we get just the little sort of um, pine twigs almost that hold that circle in place. And there's loads of different sections you can use for that. So we'll just take the little bits out. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to spray glue this onto a piece of white. So this is coconut white, again, Craft Artist Essential card, cut to the same five and a half inch square. And I'm simply going to glue that on. And what we want to do is we want to take the centre of this out. So we take the same circle die we used for the frame and we literally slot that back into place. If you actually push it into place it will slot in. I'm just going to tape that down and we're going to run that through our die machine and cut that. And what we will then get is this piece. So we get the beautiful frame on each side with the white but we have the aperture through the center so really really simple to do and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to set this down so i've got another piece of white card again cut to five and a half inches and i'm going to take the smaller die from the set and we're going to tape that into place and we're leaving an even border all the way around and we run that through our die cutting machine, which will give us this piece here. So you can see now we're sort of going down in depth. So I'm simply going to take the tape off the back. And what I've done here is I've doubled up the tape. So I've used two layers, which means I've got a four millimeter gap in between and a little support on each one. And what that does is just gives me a nice little sort of bit of depth in there. So we'll take these off and I'm simply going to apply a little bit of glue. And this is just the Craft Artist Quick Dry Glue. There we go. And that allows me to make sure I can get this nice and even on that circle in the centre before pushing it down. So what we're going to do next is we're going to cut ourselves a wreath using the twig wreath die. So we would take a piece of this time I'm using the field green. Again, this is all using Craft Artist Essential card. Just going to cut this to size. And the reason I'm doing this on a larger sheet is I want to show you that we'll get a far better cut by cutting it. Again, you can go very close if you want to, so you're not wasting card, but you'll get a better cut with a die that's detailed from a smaller piece of card than you will from doing it from a full A4 sheet. And we'll simply run that through our die cutting machine to give us the beautiful twig wreath, which as you can see, just fits 
beautifully around there. So I'm going to give that a spray with spray glue. And I'm just going to pop that into place. There we go. Really simple, really easy. So the next layer down, we're going to come back to this beautiful apple green and again cut to the same size, pop them in place. And we're going to take the insert die, which gives you the really nice sort of deer just or stag just popping in towards the Christmas trees. So we'll tape that down and secure that, remove the top piece and we run that through our die cutting machine. And that will give us this piece here. So you can see now we're looking through that window down onto our beautiful little scene. So I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape onto here. So again, just one layer. We don't need to do the two layer. We've already done that one. So using one layer of foam tape, I'm just going to go around those sides and simply put a little bit in just to secure around that circle. Sometimes, depending on which card you use and depending on the thickness, when you've cut an aperture out, it can dip a little bit. But if we actually just support the circle, it means that we get that real crisp shadowed edge around there. So we're just simply going to take the tape off and we're going to pop that into place. So look through, get it nice and even. And as you can see here, where I've cut it, I've overlapped a little bit. So take your scissors and simply undercut to neaten it off. You can also neaten off any other layers at this point. So check, we've got a little bit there. So let's take that off. And by undercutting, I mean tilt your scissors to an angle, which means you slide underneath. You can see there, they just slide under that top frame by being at an angle. So we'll clear these little pieces away. And we've got our piece. And I want to make quite a nice, simple background for this. So what I've got here is just a piece of scrap card that I've brayed some colour on. So I can play around to sort of find the right place. Just to show you how this is done, we'll do this on the reverse. I'm using the John Next Door little mini five inch, five inch, two and a half inch, I think this is, brayer. A little bit of Versafine Claire, pick some up on our brayer and just literally brayer it on. The messier you are, sometimes the better this actually appears. So again, a little bit of a lighter colour this time. And you get beautiful patterns that look as if you're looking into the forest just from using a brayer and a little bit of ink. You can use any ink for this. I'm using the Versafine Clairs because they're the closest. So we take the piece we've just done. Oh, yeah, perfect. So again, turn that over. This time I don't need to create any depth in there. So a little bit of flat glue and just pop a little bit onto the tree and the deer and look through lovely so there we go let's move there we go perfect so i've got that beautiful center piece in there and again turn your scissors and undercut to remove the excess really simple and easy And you'll notice this card is very similar if you've got the die to the card that's on the packaging. So I'm just going to pull in a card blank that I've already made and I've matted and layered it with some of the coconut white, the apple and the field. But you can see there, if we put it up the right way. We're pulling all those colours together. So we'll just put some glue on all four sides of that. Make sure I pop my pin back in. It's starting to get blocked a little bit. And we'll just put that on. And this mat's been cut to five and three quarters. That's five and seven eighths and six inches. And it's on a seven inch card blank. 
So all I need to do now is just decorate it up and bring this colour through. So I'm simply going to use a little bit of pin flare glue gel and a cocktail stick. And I've already cut the pieces. So I've cut pieces of the foliage dies that come within the set. And I'm just going to place a little bit of glue gel down. And I'm going to add these in. So I'm just simply adding these pieces in to the two areas where you've kind of got the collection ready to go. So on this top one, we're just going to pop one on there like that. And we'll grab a second one. And I'm trying to make each one a little bit different. OK, I've then got some little pieces cut of the holly dies that come in the set and if you just pinch them between your finger and your thumb they'll fold alongst the line that we've got set up so really simple just fold a little bit of glue gel put those in and here i've got one cut in the field So we've got three pieces there. I've also cut some of the holly in the white, just so I bring a little bit of that white from the back back in. So we'll add a couple of pieces to that. Okay, there, perfect. And I'm just gonna finish here. You could use the die that comes in the set, which gives you the three holly bellies, berries. But for speed, I'm just going to use a little dew drop. These, if they're not out yet, will be out very soon. Just gives us a little focal point. And then finish off the same on the other side. Let's add another twig coming off there. And again, this time I think we'll just have a little bit of darker holly. Grab another piece and you'll find in the set the dies come left and right for both the pine sort of sprays and for the holly. So you've got a left and a right. I'm going to add a little white one in again to bring that white colour forward. There we go. A little bit of glue gel in the centre. Let's get that right. And we'll take another little dew drop. And we'll just add that in. And you can see there, quite a clean and simple card, but that little bit of a really simple inky background just gives it a little bit of added sort of mystery and mystique to it. And there we have a card made, beautiful mantelpiece pleaser, using the brand new twig wreath set from John Next Door. Mm -hmm.